With that, I will call on Senator Cruz and I will yield the chair to Senator Shaheen. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Welcome, everyone. Congratulations on your nominations. Uh, Ms. Lempert. Uh, I want to start by asking about the case of Alam Tamimi. As you know, she is an FBI most wanted terrorist. She helped mastermind a horrific attack in Israel in 2001. That attack injured over 100 people and killed 15, including seven children and a pregnant woman. The pregnant woman was an American, Judith Greenbaum. One of the murdered children was also an American, Malka Roth. Jordan has for some time been harboring Tamimi and refused and is refusing to extradite her to the United States. They say that our extradition treaty with them is not valid. Three years ago, I questioned our ambassador to Jordan, Ambassador Wooster, about the United States' position on this issue, which he answered in testimony to this committee. I'd now like to ask you about your understanding. First, Amb Amb Ambassador Wooster testified in writing that the United States believes the government of Jordan is wrong and that our extradition treaty with them is valid. Is that also your understanding? Thank you, Senator, for raising this important question. Uh, and if I may, I'd just like to begin by acknowledging what a difficult and frustrating issue this has been for the Congress, for those of us in the executive branch, but most of all, for the families of the American citizen victims of Ahlam Tamimi's horrific crimes, uh, Malki Roth and Shoshana Judith Greenbaum. Uh, if confirmed, I will do everything in my power to ensure that Ahlam Tamimi faces justice in the United States for her horrific crimes. And to your precise question, Senator, yes, that is my understanding. Thank you, and I, I appreciate your strong commitment on this. I can tell you I have personally raised this issue face-to-face -face multiple times with the King of Jordan, and we need to get this resolved. Uh, second, Ambassador Wooster committed to me and to this committee in writing that he would explore all options, including and specifically including withholding military and economic assistance from the government of Jordan to secure Tamimi's extradition. I'd like to hear if you're willing to make the same commitment today. Senator, I think our relationship with Jordan is multifaceted uh, and extremely important. Uh, there's obviously uh, some issues that we're not going to agree on. Um, I think that what I can confirm to you is that I will do everything in my power to ensure that Ahlam Tamimi faces justice in the United States. As to the specifics uh, of that, I would have to defer to my colleagues at the Department of Justice, as this is a law enforcement uh, issue. Uh, and I'm willing to explore uh, a variety of ways to continue this discussion with the Jordanians. D does that variety of ways include potentially withholding military and economic assistance? Senator. I think that that would need to be weighed very carefully against the range of uh, issues uh, and priorities that we have with the Jordanians before uh, considering such uh, a step, which I think would be profound. Um, I would want to, if confirmed, get out there and, and try and work on this and, and see if we can make progress in other ways. Well, and let me be clear, I'm not asking you to commit today to withholding that aid. Uh, but your predecessor committed in writing that that was one of the options on the table to force Jordanian cooperation. And you said you want to consider it further and consider it with your colleagues. I'm going to ask you to do that and follow up to this, this hearing. I'm going to ask you in writing again the same questions I asked your predecessor, and I very much hope the answer is the same. We need to use every tool we have, and I have no desire to cut off aid to Jordan. What I have desire is to get this terrorist who murdered Americans to face justice. Uh, let me shift to another topic briefly. In 2004, President Bush provided assurances to our Israeli allies 
about how the United States envisions a final peace deal between Israel and the Palestinians. Specifically, the so-called Bush letters stated that Israel would not be expected to withdraw from all of its cities and towns in the West Bank. And I want to read you part of that assurance. Quote, in light of new realities on the ground, including already existing major Israeli population centers, it is unrealistic to expect that the outcome of final status negotiations will be full and complete return to the armistice lines of 1949. Is it your understanding that these assurances are still the policy of the United States? Senator, the president has been clear that uh, in, as we pursue uh, the goal of a two-state solution, uh, that it would be along 1967 lines with mutually agreed swaps. So I believe that that speaks to uh, exactly uh, the question that you're raising. So is your answer yes? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you.